Hallo zusammen, hier ist Egi. Willkommen zurück auf meinem Kanal. Hi everyone, welcome back to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. This is your host Iggy, and today we're going to be talking about a Luftwaffe squadron leader. Um, I'm sorry, I had to put this over the uh, badge there. Uh, you guys probably know why, so I won't go into that. As background, I have my D-Day book because it has a summer uh, flight uniform for the Germans with the light leather jacket and uh, the flight suit. Now this was, this one was kind of hard for me to track down. Uh, it's called, it was made by someone called In The Past Toys. Now at the time I bought this, I was somewhat familiar with In The Past Toys. Uh, however, I never bought any of their things because at that time, the only thing I saw that they made was leaders of the Nazi party, and I I wasn't interested in the Nazis. I didn't want to really have anything like that. Uh, however, uh, I went to a G.I. Joe convention with my brother, Robert, in uh, June of 2007, and there was a vendor there that had a box full of in-the-past figures such as you see here. And uh, I picked it up and I was looking at the details and I go, oh, this is a pretty cool figure. I think I'd like this. How much is it? And he goes, well, that's $10. And I was like, what? $10 for this? And he said, yeah. So I bought a few figures at that time. Uh, and I asked him, well, why are they so cheap? Are they missing something? Or is there something wrong with it? And he said, no, uh, I was missing one figure from my collection, and I had to buy the whole box to get a hold of it, so I'm selling off the remainder. So I lucked out with that one. Um, before I show you the figure, though, we'll, we'll take a look at the box. Now, th this part was rather surprising to me that they had this on here because... You know how it goes with that nowadays. Um, even model kits have that removed from the tail. And uh, German vehicles, they have all those uh, removed. So I, I was just surprised to see that on this box. Now, they are advertising something else that the guy was selling. I didn't buy one, though. And that's the... U-boat uh, crewman, and I would hate to be a U-boat crewman. I think they lost, what was it, 75 to 80 percent of them never came back again. Jeez, those kind of odds aren't that great. Uh, this says that it was made in 2001, and it gives a New York address for the company. Uh, it does say that it was made in Japan. Now, is In The Past Toys a front for another company? I don't know. I couldn't find out anything about In The Past Toys. On one of the boxes I had, it included a, uh, a what do you call it, internet address or something? And I contacted that and a German one-sixth scale website came up but not in the past toys. So I don't, I couldn't find out anything about these guys. Should I turn this light off? Let me see. If that, does that help guys? Yeah, it's a little better. Okay, so it's a nice box. It's uh, kind of not a coffin box, but a window box. So let's open it up and take a look at it. And over on this side, it gives a brief history of the Luftwaffe, which is uh, not very complete. In, in other words, it says that it was formed in 1935 in violation of the Versailles Treaty. But that's not really a surprise, but it, it omits certain information, which I thought would be 
not paramount, but uh, germane to the story, uh, the Condor Legion, the Battle of Britain. Those are two things that uh, has been deleted, I guess, from the narrative here. And it also talks a little bit about Falsham Jaeger ground troops. And I thought, well, what's that have to do with a squadron leader? I'm not sure. But anyway, let's take a look at the figure itself. He's got a, a pretty cool uh, head sculpt, as you can see there. He looks real, very realistic. He's wearing an M43 uh, field cap. He's got the leather jacket. That's why I was showing you that. But this one, I noticed after I set it up that it was a summer leather jacket. This one is just a regular leather jacket. He's got the flight suit on, which appears to be the same as this one up here. And this is a pretty cool figure for $10. My gosh, that's a great figure. Let's start up here and we'll work our way. Do you want to go down and work our way up? Here, let's move this up here so you can see it. So this In the Past Toys is a pretty cool figure. With a really nice head sculpt. Okay, guys. Well, that's all I got for you on this one. I've showed you one of my other uh, in the past toy figures before. It was out of the box, and it was of a uh, a uh, Africa Corps tank commander. Okay, so that's it for our Luftwaffe pilot. And I'm going to say thanks for uh, joining the Iggy Army. Thanks for getting Iggy with it, as always. Uh, why don't we fly off to Roy Rogers Ranch, and uh, we can set up a picnic table under the shade tree and, and – uh, have something to eat and enjoy each other's company. That would be nice. I want you guys to uh, take care of each other, be good, take care of your health, and remember to take your things out of storage and dust them off. Uh, I, this is kind of gross, but the tub that I found this in, it was all covered with rat poop all over the top of the tub. And I went to eat with my brother, Robert, we went to Subway. He helped me uh, bring some tubs over and, and take something home. This is one of the ones that uh, I took home. And I forgot to wash my hands. And my brother mentioned that to me when I was halfway done with my sandwich. And I go, oh, my God. Hopefully I live through this lunch. <laughs> I don't know if I, I hopefully didn't have any rat poopy on my hands. Let's hope not. That's really gross. Anyway, um, that's all I got for you. I'm going to make another video right after this of another in the past figure that I have. And I'll share that with you. In the meantime, you guys be good, okay? Take care. Adios.